a lot of things to show you i have a lot of goodies that i'm going to be harvesting or reaping today and uh, i just want to share it with you if you're new to my channel this is kim's homestead living where it's all about growing your own food it doesn't matter where you are whatever space you have just grow something start with the basic things that you love basic vegetables that are easy to maintain so we're going to get into the harvesting i'm super excited um i did a previous harvest video you can check that out i did that like a few weeks um or two two months a month a month and a half ago so you can check out that video and i have previous videos with me prepare my beds for new crops and all of those things so you can check that out as well right so it's going to be a very exciting day and let's get to it right all right guys i have my container for harvesting my goodies so i'm even going to start immediately at the front here all right so i have some tomatoes right here so i don't wait until they are ripe ripen before um i pick them because if i do the slugs will get them before me so i try to get them first so i put them down on my my counter in my kitchen and with the warmth in the kitchen area it will ripe over time so yeah all right can you believe it this is onion all right so that's one onion and i got a nice one right here another one right quite a few so i'm just going to pull them up and show you all right so we're moving down the line so i'm just going to be picking stuff bringing it to show you as i move on um because i want you to get a, a, a good experience from what i'm doing so i'm going to go down the line and harvest a few things oh i think i have some onions over here too do i uh no not right here none is ready right here at the moment all right all right so i'm going to harvest some colored greens Um, but even though they have the wormholes in them they're still edible nothing is wrong with them if they're too badly damaged i i won't eat them for example this one all right i just give my chickens these all right all right Woo! yes when you live in a very hilly area you're prone to slips and falls I've had encounters, trust me. Anyway, so I just harvested some string bean. I planted these um, a couple weeks ago and I'm harvesting. So I have quite a few there on the tree, on the plants rather. So yeah, so this is just it for now. I just want to show you what I'm harvesting. So I'm going to go through and harvest some more things. How beautiful is this? Pak Choi. I have. I just harvested my lovely mint. It smells so good. It smells so good. Um, Broadleaf, perfume mint. We Jamaicans have various names for oh, the mints that grow here. I have lemongrass. Mm, lemongrass. So good. Right? I have quite a few plants in my yard. I also so this is mint. The fine leaf mint. Some people call it the black mint. Hey, we have several names for different for things in Jamaica. Some more tomatoes. I just picked them green. And 
yeah so i'm going to move to another area to harvest a few more things All right, so the sun is getting warmer <laughs> by the second, but I'm still doing what I'm doing, right? All right, so this is another skeleton and a tiny baby one. It works, all right? I also got myself two lovely, can you see it? Two lovely uh, sweet pepper or bell pepper. And I got a nice heaping, a nice, nice heaping of kale, right? Looking lovely. So yes, my ca the caterpillars are just, they're just overrated at this point. But hey, we have to share with nature, right? All right, so that's it for right here. Um... We are going to move to another section now where I'm going to show you some more things. Alright guys, I've been at it. I am sweating. <laughs> but it comes with the work. I don't mind burning the calories while on your homestead. Perfect, right? Alright, so whew, I have so much to show you. I harvested a good heaping of our Jamaican scotch bonnet pepper look at how beautiful they are I also picked my rosemary I do propagate and sell rosemary plants as well as I do sell scotch bonnet pepper suckers or plants or seedlings saplings whichever one you want to call it and this is red russian kale another variation of kale they get bigger than this but i just wanted some to eat like today so i'm harvesting it today i have a big heaping of basil or basil hey whatever you want to call it it works for me so I even also. just one leaf one leaf and perfume your entire pot that's how potent basil is it's a nice herb to have you can use it to make teas um, you can put it in probably like some sort of salad dressing or something like that but it's up to you if you love the flavor you grow it it's so beautiful yeah it's also even though they're not quite ready my nice head of red romaine lettuce it is red and it's beautiful trust me and they're crunchy nice delicious i also sell these as well and i share with my family and friends because what's a homestead without sharing right <clears throat> also this is the biggest the biggest Chinese cabbage I found they they weren't quite ready but this is the biggest one so I harvested it Chinese cabbage is very leafy reminds you of pak choy but it's a different variation of cabbage and it tastes pretty good like you don't miss anything right <laughs> all right so I'm going to be harvesting let me show you let me scoot over my cabbage i am so proud i'm super proud i've tried with cabbage before it did not work they did not fold they dried out it was so depressing but here my second try i got advice from other farmers what to use how to cure them and all of that and it's a very small patch i tried with and i have a few that i can harvest today like three months later I'm harvesting my own cabbage. I'm so, I'm I'm feeling so good. It's hard work, guys. All right, so this one here, it's ready. So you just peel back some of the leaves, the foliage, and you go in as close as possible to the 
cabbage, the stem at the bottom here, and that's where you cook. And look, a cabbage. I just harvested my own cabbage. And trust me guys, cabbage worm is real. They are real. Because I've had quite a few damage and I was determined that they're not going to have it all. So, my first cabbage guys, very tough. So all of these little foliage now are leaves. I can just throw them to my chickens or throw it in my compost. Because I do my own compost as well. Even though I do seek um, cow manure, I have my chicken manure that I use and I make my own compost and I put it back in my garden, which is good stuff. Natural fertilizer. Look at this one. nice head of cabbage all right so that was a lot of work i must agree so i picked some more tomatoes because i have tomato plants in and around the garden also i have some nice small let me see if i can cherry tomatoes so they are this small and they are juicy when they're ripe so that's good. I also picked some celery. These are the Chinese celery. These are so pretty. Like, look at them. See that? All right, so that's Chinese celery. I have a lot. So I do make green juice as well to sell. I use produce from my garden. I don't have cucumber growing in my garden at the moment but i do have all the other vegetables that i add to my green juice and i do sell that as well all right so you can find me on kim's homestead living on instagram where i share all the things that i do pictures and all and i do have my other business where i sell nuts seeds and dried fruits uh yes yeah, so it's all about health it's balance I can't say I eat the same way every single day, but it's all about balance for me, right? And that's what I'm trying to put out there. Just balance. You can enjoy all the things you like, but just balance yourself, right? So I'm going to show you everything. I'm going to organize everything now to show you all the things I harvested today. Wow. So if you, I'll leave my contact information in the description if you want to reach out to me um in terms of making orders and stuff like that i'm just a small scale backyard farmer nothing big but it's a start i'm looking for other places i can probably lease to do more but for now i'm making use of my space right so yes and remember i do sell plants trees pear tree star fruit pomegranate, and all of those things so yes i don't teach only I do farming and I do other things so we have to make the dollar wherever we can we have to be versatile in this economy so I'm going to organize everything now and show you everything all right guys so I'm going to show you all the things I harvested today so starting from this side I have my cabbage so I harvested four beautiful head of cabbage on top here I have Chinese cabbage here I have my sweet pepper sweet pepper some tomatoes my red romaine lettuce looking so beautiful my celery going up here I have my mint then I have kale that's a blue curl kale and then coming down here I have some string beans I have some cayenne pepper yes they if I allow them to stay on the plant they will get red but I want to have them today and these are my lovely scotch bonnet pepper 
over here I have my colored greens then right beside it I have basil moving over this is rosemary along with my other variation of kale which is a red Russian kale and then following from that now I have my pak choy which is right here and my mint and then coming over this side my one little baby carrot and it does have some damage but I'm going to have that and then some more scallion not scallion <laughs> onion onion and also from my little thyme patch I have thyme can you imagine I propagate all these things the rosemary and thyme and I do sell them as well right so yes that is it for today this is my harvest this is a wide variety of things and I am so grateful for everything so guys this should be a motivation for you to start growing something it's hard work but can you imagine me buying all of this from the market it it does cut down a little bit on the food bill I can tell you so start growing something um if you have any tips any form of encouragement you can leave it in the comments you know because it's good to know when people like to see what you're doing right so have a good one happy new year i hope this year will be a productive prosperous oh, i hope this year will be a productive and prosperous one for all of you and thank you for your continuous support as i go through this journey and remember you can find me at kim's homestead living as well as kim's nuts and seeds on instagram bye bye